Ni howdy, everybody. This is Eric from Tea House Ghost, broadcasting from Austin, Texas. And I am back at the tea table. It's the early afternoon on a Saturday. And I'm going to make myself some 2016 Bai Mudan. Bai Mudan means white peony. It's the middle grade of fooding white tea. The higher grade being silver na- needle because it's all buds. Um, and the lower grade being shomei, longevity eyebrow, which is much more leafier. So generally in the grades of these aged white teas from fooding, it's about bud content. That's what makes it higher grade. And Bai Mudan, white peony, sits right in the middle of those. So I'm going to be making an aged one that has been pressed into a cake, a bean, which is those circular cakes with a little divot in the middle. Um, And I'm making one from 2016. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff hot. I'm using my Mutton Fat Jade Gaiwan, my Mutton Fat Jade Porcelain Gongdao Bay, and my new Mary Cotterman Storm Cup. I don't know what else to call it. I'm calling it a Storm Cup because it's this deep blue and black color. It's black on the outside, kind of a deep blue stormy color on the inside, and it's starting to crackle which is awesome on the inside. The glaze is starting to to give this crackliness as I continue to use hot water and pour tea in here. It's gaining this very nice texture on the inside of the cup. So why am I making Bai Mudan? What's, What's driving that decision? Well, it has been a week, y'all. It has been a very, very busy, um, packed week. Just a, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on this week. And it took a lot of concentration and work. And, uh, but then also there was, there, you know, and it was, uh, many things kind of going a, a lot. Uh, how do I put this? What am I trying to say here? It, 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 it was many things going on this week, and now I am feeling this Saturday afternoon like I want to just kind of recenter, really, really draw that all into a, a point kind of inside myself and, and kind of find a very nice balance point. And, um, I feel like aged white tea is a good tea for that kind of a, that kind of a prospect. This isn't because I feel super out of whack. I won't say that. I don't feel very, um, out of sorts. I'm not feeling unwell, though I do think aged white tea is one that can be a friend in times of some minor illness, you know? Um, but, uh, it's more just that I feel like, uh, I feel like I've taken a lot in this week. There's been new, a lot of new, fresh experiences and challenges. And it's kind of like, I want to be able to integrate all of these things, um, in a, in a good way. Uh, like I want to, I want to hold on to them and, and, and really internalize these these experiences of this week because many of them were special um and many of them were new challenges and i'm uh, there's a feeling of kind of growing into myself this week where um in the past where in the past i might have shied away from some of these um some challenges like I've faced this week, I've really met them head on in this instance. And that's felt very empowering. You know, it, 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 it's, it, it, it has the effect of instilling a sort of confidence that is 
very hmm. strong and felt and embodied and kind of like I don't even need to think about it. It's 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 helping to internalize the confidence. It's no longer an intellectual thing. And what I mean by internalize is that it's not something I'm just like thinking about, but something I'm feeling really deep down within myself. And so that makes it so that I can I can hold this feeling or or be in this feeling without having to do anything special or um, or go through some certain motions to kind of make the spell work, you know? It's already working. It's kind of internalization means that I've converted something that used to be, to, to put it in like magic terms uh, for fun, because I think magic is fun, um, it, it turns a spell that used to be a, a casting spell, like you ha you'd have to do something to make the spell happen into a passive spell. It's, it's just happening without needing to try much. Um, and that's kind of what I mean by internalizing. This is a concept that comes up for me, or, or this is a concept that I would say I helped myself help. This is my words today, y'all, jeez just slipping over them anyway this is uh that's okay i'm gonna just keep rolling with it um the this concept of internalization is something that i kind of learned to understand through this practice of gong fu cha um really gong fu at its heart is about cultivating a skill or a practice through doing it over and over and over and over again. And, and, and through this process of doing something, engaging with a practice like pouring tea, like steeping and pouring tea, it becomes something that, um, this practice becomes something that can eventually become like second nature. We, we, we use that phrase in English, like a second nature. And that's kind of, ooh, I'm going to get to the taste and flavor and fragrance of that in just a second because it's really good, but I want to finish this thought. Um, yeah, we use this term second nature, and that's kind of getting at what I mean by internalization. This is, it's a, this, this process is that, you you practice something and then eventually you get good at it and you no longer need to concentrate so so hard every time you your body already knows these movements you have this muscle memory right and the same could be applied to your thought processes so that you gain a muscle memory or a habit form in um the way that you think about things you know um the brain forms pathways neural pathways that are comfortable and then sits in them until otherwise told not to and this busts, busts out a whole conversation about habit and learning and unlearning and um kind of inter the internalization and crystallization of feelings thoughts habits uh all of these things. And, and, and what I, I think Gong Fu Cha allowed me to do was to take on the process of forming something into a habit, uh, the, the process of deepening an internalization of, of one of these things or breaking myself of one of these things. Because there have been so many times in the course of my tea journey where I've dove all, I have dived have doved doven what's the word there i don't know i dove all the way into a tea and uh and and developed a way that i liked pouring that tea and stuck with it for years you know just 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 found a good way but then eventually that way no longer served me 
and I would want to discover a new way to pour that tea. And uh, thus I would have to unlearn that internal that internalized way of doing it that just kind of came out whenever I would sit down and say poor um, haunted plum that was one a while ago that I developed a very strong way of or a, a very um, regular way of pouring haunted plum which is a wee oolong and I really loved it for a while and then I wanted to change it and so it took unlearning to uh, to break myself of that. And, and that can be difficult as well. I think both are difficult. Each one, each process, the process of gaining an internalization and breaking an internalization, each are difficult and take time. That, those are both important concepts. They're, they're, they're difficult. They, they come with some amount of resistance against them because they're ingrained or because they're not ingrained, you know, in the case of trying to ingrain something the fact that it's not yet ingrained means there's still some amount of anxiety or clumsiness or you know forgetfulness there are all these other kinds of resistances and then when breaking a habit or a, an internalization process there's the resistance against trying things in a new way or resisting the discomfort of going outside of what is usual and and having to contend with all of these feelings that maybe I haven't contended with for a long time like like messing up the tea you know like what if I mess it up that's gonna happen when I'm trying something new you know um there are gonna be stumbles and whatnot and that's part of the process and if I'm you know not willing to do that then that 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 can be part of whether or not I'm ready I suppose to unlearn anyway this is all a rambling bit I'm going to get to a little bit about this tea again um or a little bit about this tea and this tea oh man by Mudan very quickly becoming my favorite white tea um I haven't, you know, aged white tea is one that I haven't explored as much myself up until this point. I'm kind of, in a way, really diving diving into my home practice with aged white tea. Aged white tea is something that I've drank several times, but always at the tea house because I, for two reasons. One, I, I in the past, I couldn't afford to get many aged white teas. A lot of other teas would take precedence for me. I love to keep a shupuer or two in the house all the time. You know, a couple shungs, several phoenixes, a few wuyis, several anchis. And so white tea would kind of be an afterthought for me a lot of the time. And because they come in bings, uh, a lot of our aged white tea comes in bings, they would also be a little bit more expensive to get a whole bing. And so... I often wouldn't go for it, but these days I am, I am determined to learn the, the world, wide world of aged white teas very deeply. It seems, seems like the right time for me right now. And so I've, uh, I've been diving into them. We just recently recorded the, the aged white tea episode of Gong Fu Tea Cha, and this kind of helped spark my interest. In, in this area and and remind me like hey there's there's a hole there in my experience and I would like to go explore that hole so I'm I'm I'm, I'm like chest deep in aged white tea uh practice right now but by Mudan this 2016 by Mudan first off so gentle so easy to pour so nice She's like, you know, just like a got got grandma vibes. Very like warm and sweet and fragrant. Mm. 
this very like it's there's almost a tartness it's got a quality kind of like green apples where it's like it's not that red apple kind of deeper rounder thing it's like this it's a brightness that's more like green apples and on a as a fragrance over top of a delicate florality it's it's not super up in your face like the kind of intense perfume of a phoenix oolong for example it's it's a much more delicate and subtle kind of floral fragrance like one of those flowers where you really need to shove your nose all the way up in the flower to even get a hint of it and even then you're like is this really a fragrant flower i don't is it i can't tell but it's definitely there you know and uh it's it's so so gentle this the the feeling of this tea is just it is it is like a warm hug almost cuddly but not really necessarily like a romantic cuddly more like a more like a like a grandma thing like there it's a nurturing vibe you know it seems more like someone very old and wise teaching me but through a kind of affection and touch kind of space you know not teaching me like word wisdom there's something very tactile and 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 sensuous about this tea it's like not one of those super flashy ones that like uh like a milk oolong or a, a phoenix oolong that is just gonna like light up the the palette and be like whoa that is crazy flavors and and sparks and fireworks this one's much more like felt like the taste and the fragrance are there and they're enjoyable. They're really lovely and deep and complex. But it's almost like those sensations, the, the, the taste and the smell of this tea are so enhanced by and, 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 and doubled down by this way of feeling the tea, feeling it as, as, I, as, I, as it goes down into my digestive system, feeling it and it's chi kind of resonating in my body. Yeah. Got a fair amount of work to do today. Got to catch up on some stuff, some extra stuff, but all, all in good time. Not in a rush today. Very slow pace for today. Feeling that and feeling that vibe, the slow vibe. Very much enjoying it. Might try to sneak in some reading later. I haven't really read my books like all week. I've been too busy doing stuff. Working at the tea house all week. Solving some problems with the website with Nate. Hanging out a lot with my friend Annie and exploring that relationship. Playing this video game called Samurai Gun, which is 
I haven't mentioned Samurai Gun yet on this show, but I guess now's a good time as any. It's a, uh, a brutal video game in that it's about, <laughs> it's about the murds. It's killing each other with swords and guns as samurai, little samurai guys. It's a, uh, it's like a kind of Neo 8-bit or Neo 16-bit game uh, that we play at the tea house a lot. It's very fun. Sohan is extremely good at it, and so is Nate. Sohan and Nate are, are just, just very good at this game. And several others of us, myself included, are trying to challenge their titles. Trying to get better at this game. It's kind of our way of decompressing at the tea house, is, is whipping out our samurai swords and meeting each other on the battlefield. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's a very, very uh, quick-paced, frantic uh, fighting game that is a lot of fun. I got to tell y'all, it's a lot of fun. I love that game. So I've been getting better at that game. Might try to spend some time outside today. Looks like a really nice day out. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. All right. A little bit of nuts and bolts before I sign off here. I'm getting to my third steeping of this tea. And still hitting it with hot water. I, I haven't cooled it for either of the first two steepings. I hit it with basically boiling water for the first two steepings. It's it, And because I've taken a little while with my thoughts here, I'm not, you know, rushing through the steepings. I suppose the water's probably cooled off maybe a few degrees in this time period in the kettle. So we're probably around 209 or so um, degrees Fahrenheit right now at the third steeping. And, um, yeah, this aged white tea can take a full boil. It can take pretty hot water, and I'm just kind of hitting it there. I'm not, I'm not steeping it super long yet, but probably about five to seven seconds pouring directly on the leaves. The, 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 like, raft of tea, the block of tea that I started with still hasn't fully opened up. And I don't know that I'm going to stay on on mic on this episode for the whole time until it... Ooh, there's a green lizard on a tree right outside my window. He's a big boy. Look at that guy. Ooh, man, what a big, beautiful lizard man who just jumped from the tree onto a fence. This guy is agile. Yo, buddy. I like your style. Anyway, um... Leaves aren't break broken up yet. It'll take a while. This tea's gonna 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 be vibing with me for like an hour at least. You know, like these aged white teas go for a long, long time. But yeah, not really too much in the way of technique that I'm employing with these guys. You know, there's there's really not uh, very very specific ways of doing things that help me um, get the most out of this tea. It's kind of just just paying attention and and being there with this tea and kind of sharing the space is is really all it, all it, all it asks which is also nice it, you know a very very uh low maintenance old friend with that i think i'm going to sign off for today i think that's been a good little bit with this tea with y'all. Uh, nice to get into the day uh, drinking some tea with y'all out there. If you're drinking some tea yourselves and want to share the experience with me, you can always reach out to me at teahouseghost at, at gmail.com. Let me know what you're thinking. Since this is going to go up on SoundCloud, you know, you can always comment on any point in the timeline if you want to start a dialogue about something that I'm talking about I guess that's a possibility we're going to discover this together I still haven't 
fully learned the SoundCloud game. It's not a platform that I've used much up until this point um, in any sort of deep way. So we're gonna we're gonna discover it together. Thanks for listening, and until next time, take care of each other, y'all. Okay, I signed off early on this by Mudana episode because I was I was concerned about time. I usually like to keep these episodes to about 20 to 30 minutes, but I kept pouring this by Mudan after I signed off, and I'm probably at the sixth or seventh steeping now, and I reheated my water, and the leaves are fully unfurled, and oh man, y'all, this tea really dropped into its own. Um, I remember I was I was talking a little bit about a lot of the upper tier fragrances when doing some of the the flavor and fragrance notes uh, about green apples, but now it's like, imagine an apple pie made out of these green apples, and then like vanilla ice cream just melting over that whole warm pie. There's this this almost vanilla-like um, warm, sweet creaminess underneath that is kind of the mouth flavor beneath these kind of tart, buddy fragrances. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. This one's a really good tea. Honestly, this by Mudan has, has quickly become one of the um, champion teas of this season for me. Uh, maybe it's because it's novel. I haven't really explored the realm of by Mudan, but uh, up until this point, that deeply. And it's been really exciting for me to get to dive into a new tea that is really good and and one that I'm I'm really excited about at home. But yeah, this one's just been hitting, y'all. Really, really uh, lovely energy on this tea. Really, really, really lovely. Just a very all around grounding, centering. gentle feeling with such lovely flavors and fragrances really just 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 very very delightful a delightful tea so wanted to give you a little extra update the color on the liquor is a little darker now i i I lit it up for uh a little longer and by lit it up that's a, for a term i use often to mean i poured boiling hot water on it um I, I i i so i lit it up for like 15 20 seconds maybe even upwards of 25 it was a long one but the color changed to a kind of deeper gold color almost orange where it was kind of this lighter green gold translucent color this one's a little bit more full-bodied now and getting a lot more of those mouth flavors a lot more of the leafy content of this tea as opposed to the buddy content of this tea though the bud content the uh the bud fragrances are still there in full force there's just more of this undertone of like vanilla and autumn leaves that is really satisfying just really really great definitely help, helping me get into this day in a nice way feeling excited all right i guess that's where i'll end it this little postscript Thanks for coming along on the postscript journey with me, y'all. You're champions, too. I'll see y'all next time. Take care of each other. Mm -hmm.